explicitly and so clearly in support of martyrs and uplifting and highlighting martyrs who've given up for everything for Palestine. باب الأقصى من حديد باب الأقصى من حديد ما بيفتحها للشهيد ما بيفتحها للشهيد باب الأقصى من حديد باب الأقصى من حديد ما بيفتحها للشهيد ما بيفتحها للشهيد باب الأقصى من حديد باب الأقصى من حديد ما بيفتحها للشهيد ما بيفتحها للشهيد في في بالستين Free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! From the river to the sea! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! Palestine will be free! From the river to the sea! From the river to the sea! Palestine will be free! Palestine will be free! Babel Aqsa bin Hadid! Babel Aqsa bin Hadid! يا شاهين ارتاح ارتاح يا شاهين ارتاح ارتاح واحنا حنوصل كيفاه واحنا حنوصل كيفاه يا شاهين ارتاح ارتاح يا شاهين ارتاح ارتاح واحنا حنوصل كيفاه واحنا حنوصل كيفاه قولوا الله وعلوا الصوت قولوا الله وعلوا الصوت يا نحررها يا بنمور يا نحررها يا بنمور قولوا الله وعلوا الصوت قولوا الله وعلوا الصوت يا He was. Video circulated of 
Jewish settler wedding in Jerusalem, celebrating the marriage of one of the settlers who burned this Palestinian home. They were sharing photos of, the, of Ali Nawabshe burned alive in the attack. During the trial of the settler for this murder, Jewish settlers stood outside the courtroom and they started harassing one of, uh, some of Ali Dawabsh's family. They were chanting, where is Ali? There is no Ali. Ali is burned. Ali is on the ground. Where is Riham? Where is Sa'id? It's too bad that Ahmed didn't burn as well. No remorse, no regret. This is the representation of Zionism. That's Ali Nawabsh's face with his family. When you think of the people that murdered Zionism, no, that murdered Ali, remember that this is the face of Zionism. Again, thank you all for coming out today, for remembering our martyrs, and for being here for Palestine, not only when it's trendy, but all the time. We will continue to have protests for Palestine every week throughout the entire into the beginning of fall, continue to follow up and be a part of globalizing the Intifada because we don't just want to be sad and angry over what they do to our people constantly. We want to fight back. We want to take that anger. We want to take that sadness and we want to fight back for our people because enough is enough. Thank you and please give it up from my amazing sister. She's not actually my sister, but she's like a sister to me. Nancy Mansoor from Existence is Resistance. Peace, everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you for having me. Uh, Nancy Mansoor, when I'm Bajuk Makawame, Existence is Resistance, I'm sure you've heard me speak a million times. And it's really tiring. Um, it's really crazy, because I'm looking at these three pictures. And I know all three of them. Uh, and I actually went to Ali Dawabshi's funeral in 2015. Um, and it was probably one of the saddest things I've ever seen in my entire life, like, you know, up front. And especially being a mother now, um, I can't even imagine what these parents feel. And every day there are parents in Palestine losing children. Our brother, uh, Abdul, uh, Abdul uh, Tamimi, Al Khatib Al Tamimi, from uh, Jerusalem, 43 years old. They're not talking about him, but I talk about him because I feel like people can relate to the situation. There's a lot of parallels with what happens here in the US to black folks. He was arrested on a traffic stop and beaten to death in his cell for saying the prayers on Eid. On the day of Eid, he was beaten to death. And here's my thing, right? Everyone's been talking about Ben and Jerry's. We don't give a shit about Ben and Jerry's. We don't want your fucking crumbs. If you don't know what side you're on, sit the fuck down already. We are sick and tired of begging people to be on the right side of history. We are sick and tired of telling people killing children is wrong. What the fuck is wrong with you? So now when I speak, I ask people to repeat after me because all I want is our people in Palestine to know that we're right behind them and say we are with the resistance. Anna ma'al muqawami. Repeat after me. Anna ma'al muqawami. 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 And every single person that says that we shouldn't be calling for resistance, that we shouldn't be calling for violence. Well then stand the fuck up because we have every right to resist and protect our families and our people until the day that we die. Thank you so much. Salam alaikum.
because we want to spread the message of Palestine everywhere. It starts at this rally, and we take it all over this community, all over the city, and all over the world. Again, give it up to DTP, Mars. Hi, all. My name is Mars, and I'm with Decolonize This Place. I'm standing here in complete and total solidarity with Palestine, Palestinians, and their right to fight for freedom by any means necessary. Uh, my comments here are brief. First, I just want to say that just as a collective black political consciousness existed in Africa before slavery, so did a collective political Palestinian consciousness exist before the creation of Israel in 1948. Palestinian history does not begin with the creation of, his, uh, of Israel. Palestinian resistance does not begin with the creation of Israel. My Palestinian comrades are fierce freedom fighters just like their ancestors before them, and Israel knows this. They are afraid of this. To this very day, they are afraid of Palestinians joining forces with other colonized peoples around the world to fight for a free Palestine and the right to return. How scared are they of what, they're, of what Palestinians are doing on the ground and, the, and in the diaspora to fight back? How scared are they of what's happening right now? They're really scared, and that's why they're escalating their tactics. That's why they're raiding community children's centers in the middle of the night. That's why they're attacking Silwan and Sheikh Jarrah and Gaza. And the list goes on. But when they escalate, so do we. When Palestine is under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back! When Palestine is under attack, what do we do? Stand up, fight back! So how do we fight back right here in New York City, right here in the heart of empire? How do we fight back right here in Bay Ridge? First, we look around. We look around at the relationships that you've been building. Look at the power that we're building. Look at how good and how disciplined and militant we look. This is how we fight back through grassroots organizing on a block-by-block -block basis, through standing in solidarity with all oppressed peoples as we come to understand and fight for our liberation, as we come to understand our struggles to be interconnected. And there is so much more that can be done here. Today we rally, today we move, and today we build. But what about tomorrow and the next day? How do we strike back from the heart of empire? Well, one thing we have to realize is that Palestine isn't just over there. Palestine is everywhere. Palestine is right here in our own backyard. As we speak, there's a company in Manhattan called General Dynamics, which is building bombs and other weapons which are used against Palestinians on the ground. Where is General Dynamics located? Right here in New York City. As we speak, the World Jewish Congress is working with others to change the definitions of anti-Semitism so that resisting the settler state of Israel and fighting for Palestine becomes harder, even criminalized. Where is the World Jewish Congress? Right here in New York City. New York City is full of Palestine-related targets. So again, I ask, how do we strike back where we are now? The options are endless. I'll leave you with this. This summer leading into the fall, we're working to build power, we're working to globalize the Antifada in a serious way. What does it mean to globalize the Antifada? What it, it means that what's happening in Palestine is happening in Kashmir. It means that what's happening in Palestine is happening in Puerto Rico. It means that what's happening in Palestine is happening in Hawaii, and Brazil, and in so many other places. It means that capitalism isn't limited by borders and neither should our resistance. It means that this energy that we're seeing here today right now needs to multiply. It needs to be the energy that powers our global movements for liberation. It means that our struggles are interconnected. I am not free until we're all free. I am not free until Palestine is free. I am not free until we globalize the Antifada and show these Zionists and show these oppressors that we've been resisting for centuries and we will continue to fight for our dignity and liberation. Because from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free and from the west to the east, all our peoples will be free. Thank you.
name doesn't matter because just like you and just like thousands of people in New York City and millions around the world, we are fighting for the same cause, for the liberation of our people. If it's in Mexico, in Puerto Rico, in the Philippines, the black lives here in the United States and across the entire world, we are here for the same cause. And today we are here to uplift the martyrs, the Palestinian martyrs, and remembering them, we remember all martyrs that were lost to colonialism, US imperialism, and all the other shit that they've given our people. We embark, we embark on this task to free Palestine within our lifetime. Regardless if it takes a lifetime, and regardless if it takes our life, let us be bold, let us globalize the Intifada. We must bring the struggle home with us. Let me repeat that. We need to bring the struggle home with us. We must understand the conditions that surround us, not just our own, but our neighbors. All the oppression that goes on around us. If we fight for ourselves here in, New in the belly of the beast in New York City, we fight for all oppressed people, especially Palestine, whose occupation is, is sponsored by America with, four, with three Ks. A true revolution can never be piecemeal. That's reform. And we're not here for no reform. Reform is a slap in the face to all of our martyrs. We are here for our liberation by any means necessary. No matter the cost, we must go forward. We can never regress. Hasta la victoria siempre, long live the Intifada. Thank you very much. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Long live Palestine! Long live Palestine! Long live the Intifada! Long live the Intifada! white supremacy, ethnic cleansing, and occupation. One life after another, we suffer the loss of family, friends, land, and homes. The resilience of the Palestinian people lives on, and we will never let that die. Will we ever let that die? No! That wasn't strong enough. Will we ever let that die? No! Your activism depends on that. Your activism needs to represent that. We can't just be active when something happens. Our numbers are a lot smaller than they have been for the past a few months. And why do you think that is? Because something's not happening right now, even though a 12-year-old was just killed. If that's not enough for action, I don't know what is. Your action needs to represent the resilience of the Palestinian people. Activism is year-round, and not just today, not just tomorrow, not just when Gaza gets bombed. Each year, each, uh, each time something happens, our standards get lower. In 1948, we wanted all of Palestine. In 67, we just wanted our regular land back. Right? 85, we wanted a little less. 2020, all we wanted was for them to stop the, the annexation. Each year, our standards get lower. But today, tomorrow, next week, next month, we want all of Palestine, from the river to the sea. We want rights for the Palestinians. We want action for the Palestinians. We don't want a blockade on Gaza. 
We want clean water. We want more than four hours of, of, of electricity. We want our basic human, human rights met on a regular basis, on a daily basis. Because that's what we have here in America. We should have that for our people over there. So I want to add, uh, I wanted to say a small um, poem at the end of my uh, small thing here. From Mahmoud Darwish. على هذه الأرض ما يستحق الحياة على هذه الأرض سيدة الأرض أم البدايات أم النهايات كانت تسمى فلسطين صارت تسمى فلسطين سيدتي أستحق لأنك سيدتي أستحق الحياة On this earth is something worth living for The land Mother of beginnings, mother of ends. It was called Palestine, it became Palestine. My lady, I deserve you. Because you are my lady, I deserve to be alive. The Palestinians deserve to be alive. It was Palestine, it is Palestine, and it will always be Palestine. Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! Free, free Palestine! From the river to the sea! From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea, from the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. Palestine will be free. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. You're hearing from Palestinian speakers like Hafsa, but you're also hearing and will continue to hear from people who stand with us from all over the world. We have people power. They may have weapons, they may have guns, they may have money, but for the people of the world who know the truth, they are on our side. Please give it up to our next speaker from Anakbay in New York, a Filipino youth and student organization building the revolution back home in the Philippines and also inspiring revolutionary struggles right here in New York City. Please give it up to ABNY and Bayan. Hello, my name is Reese and I am representing Ottawa in Manhattan, an anti-imperialist youth and student movement struggling for national democracy and genuine liberation in the Philippines. I am honored to stand in solidarity with, within our lifetime Palestine and to take this time to remember the martyrs of Pal Palestine. In Anakbayan, we study the struggles of colonized peoples under imperialism and see firsthand, living in the belly of the beast of the empire, how the imperial class of the United States supports violent structures globally, from the financial support of Israel to the Philippines. This is why our respective liberations are conditional upon international solidarity, especially in the face of our already united foes. As we seek to actualize our ideological goals, it only follows suit for us to support within our lifetime's call to globalize the Intifada. As we are united globally by our oppression, so too do we stand united in our fight for liberation. Who 
has come here from all parts of New York, all parts of the Northeast, maybe even all parts of the United States and from all walks of life. Good afternoon to everybody who's out here to memorialize and to, to fight for uh, not only the martyrs of, of Palestinian liberation, but the people who've been struggling for freedom and have been a beacon to all peoples of the world for generations. Congratulations, thank you for being here. Congratulations for everyone for fighting back. A warm welcome to everybody. Warm and mil Milton welcome to everybody except the New York Police Department, of course, who openly collaborate, right? They openly collaborate with the Israeli Defense Forces, who openly collaborate and fund and arm the armed forces of the Philippines. You know who else they work with? They work with the repressive state forces out in India, out in Peru, out in Turkey. Well, you know what? The same way that they can unite all over the world is the same way that we can unite. That's why we, that's why we in the International League of People struggle. We are more than 350 organizations, primarily in Asia, Africa, and Latin America and all over the world fighting back for people's liberation. We know that the, the true uh, democracy and, and genuine liberation does not lie in the ruling classes of the United States and other imperialist powers because they are the same ones that continue to fund and continue to support settler states like Israel. Do we support that? No! Will we fight back? Will we win? Yes! So thank you everybody for being here today and thank you for inviting us to, uh, to come out here and share a few words with you. We know that our liberation is tied up with the liberation of the Palestinian people. Everywhere in the world that is oppressed by imperialism looks to Palestine as a beacon of hope. It's said that there are origin places for different uh, products in the world. But perhaps one of the biggest places, if you were thinking of courage, and you were thinking of resilience, and you were thinking of determination, you need but look no further than the Palestinian people. Yeah! And that's the kind of hope that we all over the world get from Palestine. So that's the kind of support that we want to be out here giving. So thank you everybody. Can we do a chant together? Is that all right? Can we do a chant together? Because we love our siblings from all over the world. We also hate the oppressor. So here's a chant that I always love doing whenever we're doing this. Is uh, one, two, three, four, defeat U.S. imperialist war. One, two, three, four, defeat U.S. imperialist war. Five, six, seven, eight, smash the settler Zionist state. Five, six, seven, eight, smash the settler Zionist state. Get a little louder, maybe they can hear us in D.C. One, two, three, four, defeat U.S. imperialist war. One, two, three, four, defeat Thank you, everybody. Yeah. Thank you, comrade. And it is important for us to bring up speakers from different struggles to show that it's not only Palestinians, it's not only Arabs, it's not just Muslims, and people who are personally affected by this, who know about our struggle, who are fighting with us. The whole world is fighting with Palestine, and we want you to know that too. And in that amazing spirit, I want to give the mic to also another amazing comrade that I had the pleasure of meeting through Nancy, through Existence is Resistance, who has been fighting for Palestinian liberation and black liberation, and who is an honor for us all to be here. Please give it up to our sister, Deiki Kiyoni Siddiqui. As the sister said, my name is Dequi, and I stand here on the side of Palestinian liberation, 
recognizing that just as Palestine is occupied by settler colonialism, so is the United States. And so that is the commonality of Palestinian and indigenous people struggle here. The same with the struggle of African liberation. So we fight together because we are depressed, oppressed together. It may be manifested in different ways, but violence, settler colonialism, genocide, mass, mass murder, ethnic displacement, moving people off their land is something that Europeans have a habit, 400, 500, 600 year history of doing. And so resistance has been ever since they came to our lands. I heard a police officer say to someone that this is a mass inconvenience. Well, oppression, settler colonialism, murder, the murder of our children, the murder of our elders, the theft of our land, all of that is a mass inconvenience to oppressed people. So we stand and we fight because we're tired of the we say in the African Liberation Movement, the Black Liberation Movement, we say dare to struggle, dare to win. And the Palestinian people are inspiration because from the cradle to the grave, we see Palestinians fight, 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 and resist settler colonialism. So that is why my husband said Kuo Dinga and I stand with the Palestinian people because we know that freedom is a goal that we fight to win. Thank you. Coalition and the Palestinian Youth Movement. And Gigi Widi also is here on behalf of Al Auda New York Palestine Right to Return Coalition. How are y'all feeling today? Oh. Empowered, I hope. I know that we continue to come together in mourning because every day it seems that we learn of a new martyr in Palestine. I feel like it was just yesterday that I had learned of this 11-year-old martyr who went to get some groceries with his father and was murdered in cold blood by the Zionist occupation. I didn't even get to post about it before finding out that somebody had been gunned down at his funeral, a 20-year-old martyr. And I know we always uplift our martyrs. We honor them, we respect them. That is the ultimate sacrifice. But I want to remind all of you that I am sure that many of our martyrs didn't ask to be martyrs. They didn't ask to be gunned down. They didn't ask for their lives to be cut short. They deserve to live. They deserve to live to the extent of their lifetime. Not to be gunned down by the Zionist occupation. It is not normal for our youth to die in this way. It is not normal to be gunned down at somebody else's funeral. It is not normal for a baby boy to be burned alive with his family by settlers and let them walk out free and go on celebrating their lives, celebrating their marriages like the evil monsters they are. That is not normal. And I want to remind all of you, because I know sometimes we get jaded. We get so jaded, we get so tired. It's another rally 
and it's business as usual for us. But I don't want to remind all of you that this is not normal. 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 This is كل أسبوع بعد أسبوع في مظاهرة مظاهرة لفلسطين يا الله أنصر فلسطين بس هذا الإشي مش عادي مش عادي إنه أهلنا وشعبنا ي ي ي يستشهدوا بأي وقت هيك يعني ظروف هذا إشي مش عادي صحيح إنه صلنا سبعين سنة بهذا الموقف بس هو صار الآن هسه يعني الوقت هسه صار إنه إحنا نحرر شعبنا سواء كنا هون ولا هناك بأي مكان وأي زمان إحنا بإيدنا صار الحل إنه إحنا نحرر أراضينا سواء كان بفلسطين ولا بأي مكان وزي ما الأخوة والخوات اللي حكوا قبلي إنه سواء أي واحد فينا مش حر ولا واحد فينا حر فعشان هيك إحنا لازم نكون نتعاون مع بعض إحنا بهاي الجالية لازم نتعاون مع كل أعضاء الجالية سواء كان عرب مسلمين غير مسلمين أي حدا عشان كلنا ننتصر على القوم الظالمين بأي شكل هو القوم الظالم صح ولا لا فأنا بس بدي أذكركم لأنه أنا بعرف أنه كتير بتصير مظاهرات وعدانا بتصير تقل وتقل بس كل واحد فينا عنده قوة بإيده بأي شيء هو بيعمله انتوا احنا كل يوم بنحمل هويتنا ونكون فخورين فيها نكون فخورين فيها نحكي للكل انه في فلسطينيين وفلسطينيين فلسطين موجودة الها وجود سواء قالونا لا انتوا من الاردن ولا من لبنان ولا ابصر من وين في اشي اسمه فلسطين وفي شعب اسمه فلسطينية صح ولا لا and there's another thing so I know that we spoke about this briefly. The DCI office, this is called the Defense of Children International Office in al -Bire. I know that Nardine mentioned that their offices were raided just recently. Their files were taken away, their computers, their archives, and any evidence that they have to show for the criminality, the crimes that they commit against our people, specifically the Palestinian children. They took that away so that it would be impossible for Palestinians and their allies on the ground to prove a case on the ground that they do indeed torture, kill, and murder our people, specifically our children. Can you imagine? If this is a democracy, what do you have to hide? Why do you have to send your Zionist soldiers to a regular office in defense of children in order for them to raid the offices and take away any evidence that they can find. Meanwhile, we have settler organizations here benefiting from tax evasion, tax exemption, so that they can fundraise for legal help, so that they can put settlers in Palestinian homes. So in a criminal Zionist court, I call it criminal because the nature of it is criminal. What justice is that? What justice is that? We have no justice there. We cannot rely on the state to free us. We must take it into our own hands and free ourselves from the Zionist colonial settler entity. So please repeat after me. From the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. Palestine will be free. From the river to the sea. From the river to the sea. Palestine will be free. Palestine will be free. Thank you.
Antifada. Antifada, Antifada. As I said, we have people fighting for their liberation struggles here standing with Palestine. And next we're going to give it up to Gabby from New York Boricua Resistance, a Puerto Rican organization fighting for their liberation and standing with Palestine all the way. Thank you. Thank you all. Today we mourn the lives lost in the fight for Palestinian liberation. While the mainstream media moved on from Palestine after a ceasefire was declared, we know all too well that Israel's violence against Palestinians has only intensified. Recently, more than 270 Palestinian protesters were attacked by Israeli forces in the West Bank. That same day, U.S. Congress approved $3.8 billion in state security aid funding for Israel, with wide support from both Democrats and Republicans. Clearly, America's investment in Israel's ethnic cleansing is a bipartisan issue. As we continue to organize and fight for Palestine's freedom, we also take the time to mourn the martyrs of the Palestinian, Palestinian movement. We mourn Mohammed al Alami, a 12 year old boy who was killed in Beit Omar. Israeli forces shot him while he was in a car with his father and sister. We mourn Shakat Awad, 20, who was murdered by Israeli forces in Beit Omar while attending Mohammed al Alami's funeral. We mourn Mohammed Said Hamayel, 16 who was murdered by Israeli soldiers in Beta Village. We mourn Ibtisam Kavne, 28, a former political prisoner who was shot by Israeli forces at Kalandia Checkpoint in the West Bank. May their lives remind us and inspire us to continue in this struggle. May their memories live on and bring warmth and hope to their families and loved ones. May we always be moved to fight for a Palestine free of occupation, where Palestinians can thrive and celebrate. Que vive Palestine libre and que vive Puerto Rico libre. From Palestine to the Philippines! From Palestine to the Philippines! Stop the US war machine! Stop the US war machine! From Palestine to Mexico! From Palestine to Mexico! All our walls have got to go! All our walls have got to go! As we know, the face of these murderers, the face of the Zionists, Entity, it's Zionism. It is Zionism, it's not Judaism. In fact, as you see, we have so many Jewish brothers and sisters from multiple Jewish organizations standing with us today. It is my honor to introduce our next speaker from the Tory Carter, who many of you have known for years, always standing in the front, always fighting in the struggle for Palestine, for Palestinian liberation, here to stand in solidarity with this rally, with that message, and to mourn all of the martyrs of Palestine. Please give it up to the Notori Carta. Yeah. Thank you, Nordin. I apologize for not speaking in the mic. On Saturday, we have religious restrictions. Can you hear me? We can! Yeah. Mic check! Mic check! <laughs> Thank you for the organizers. We, for the last week since Saturday, we are following the news and we were so concerned what we can do to express our sadness to what is going on. And as Nordine said before, each day that went past, unfortunately another incident happened. Another murder took place, which upsets people throughout the world. And I am here to give you a message from the Jewish communities worldwide who are terribly saddened to what is going on. My brothers in Jerusalem and Al-Quds visited Nabi Saleh, the family of Mah Muhammad Al-Tamimi, to express their condolences. Let me tell you this very short story. We were walking today almost an hour and a half from the border park areas close by. I attended synagogue this morning. Congregants in the synagogue realized why, where, where, where I'm heading. They came over to me and asked of me, please give them our message of solidarity. Well, they gave an excuse, it's difficult for them to come out. Let me explain you. Most of you can imagine how terrible Zionist intimidation is. Not everyone comes out in public. 
But you have so many people behind who are so concerned to what is going on in Palestine. And they are so embarrassed when all these crimes are being committed supposedly in our name, in the name of the Jewish people. And especially when sadly we see that Yaakov in Sheikh Jarrah, we say some other radical people who claim to be religious and dare to misuse our religion to justify their crimes. This is the true desecration of our religion. And that's why I'm here to represent my people, to represent my religion, which is in total contrast, in total opposition, not only to these incidents that took place the last couple of days, not only to the people that were killed for a very long time, but to the entire existence of this illegal, immoral occupation, which is in total contrast to Judaism. We stand with Palestine since before 1948. We stand with Palestine throughout all these sad decades and we are, will stand with Palestine until Palestine is free from the river. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. You know that they can't hold the microphone today. Our Orthodox Jewish brothers and sisters standing with us because today is the Sabbath, so they can't use electricity. That's why he didn't hold the microphone. But I wanted you to hear this part. They walked an hour and a half, an hour and a half, to get to this protest on a hot day. And this is not the first time they've done it. This is not the first time they've done it. We see them do it all the time. And it is incumbent on our Jewish brothers and sisters to stand against the Zionist state of Israel and to stand with the Palestinian people. We see the sacrifices that the Notori Carter makes to be able to do so. Whether they are harassed and targeted or even called self-hating Jews by other Jewish people. And even walking hours upon hours to make it to our rallies. They sacrifice. We must also have people who are being born and raised in the Zionist entity standing against living there, standing against joining the army to kill Palestinian people. These settlers must also sacrifice and give up. And it's not a sacrifice because they took it from us. But they have to give up the comfort that they stole from us living in our houses to fight for Palestinian liberation because that is what real solidarity looks like. Woo! But we've only gotten this real solidarity from our Jewish brothers and sisters standing here with us in New York City, whether it's the Notori Carta walking hours to make it to our protest or our next speaker that we're glad to introduce to you from Jewish Voice for Peace who've also been struggling for Palestine and uplifting the Palestinian struggle and saying that Zionism is not Judaism and anti-Zionism is not anti-Semitism. And they are here today. Give it up to Morgan from Jewish Voice for Peace. Here to stand with our Palestinian people. My name is Morgan. I I'm here as one of 20,000 members of Jewish Voice for Peace who join you in grief and rage at every single Palestinian life stolen by Zionist violence, funded and armed and given cover by the United States. We will continue to stand in solidarity and to honor the martyrs of Palestine the only way we know how, by fighting for un un unconditionally and unequivocally for the freedom, self-determination, and liberation of all Palestinians. <laughs> Nothing more. We will honor the lives of the martyrs by rejecting Zionism for what it is, a racist and colonial ideology. We will honor the martyrs. We will honor the martyrs of 
Palestine by demanding that any single person who calls themselves progressive stands on the right side of history and stands with Palestine. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. And here's another chant that we learned from our brothers and sisters in the Notori Carta. I want you all to repeat after me. Judaism, yes! Zionism, no! The state of Israel must go! in Palestine. The hand that murdered the murderers is the hand that murdered George Floyd, that murdered Breonna Taylor, that murdered so many black and native and Latinx people killed by the racist cops in this country. The hand that is preparing to evict six million people because they can't pay the rent. The hands of the racist U.S. state apparatus and the corporate power that stands behind it because the endless, the long war against the people of Palestine is Washington's war and like the war in Iraq, like the war in Syria, like the wars, all the wars U.S. imperialism has waged around the world and is waged for corporate profit. I want to Sister Mars from the colonizers place mention the general dynamics in Manhattan. I want to mention two other corporations Chevron, which became the biggest oil company in this country, but it acquired the rights, so-called rights, to steal the land of natural gas from the waters off Palestine. Ooh. And Citibank, the biggest U.S. bank in occupied Palestine, which gave the Israeli state a $2 billion loan to buy arms when the aid the U.S. gave was not enough, with the next U.S. aid package as a collateral. The U.S. corporate ruling class needs endless war because only war and destruction can preserve its obsolete place in the world economy. And Israel, the racist state of Israel, is its instrument. When we fight for Palestine, we are fighting for oppressed people and working class people everywhere. <laughs> the victory of the people of Palestine, which is inevitable, will be the beginning of the end, well it's already beginning to end, will be a, a deadly blow, a lethal blow to the global imperialist racist empire. From the river to the sea, Palestine will be free. No justice, no peace. Israel out of the Middle East, no justice, no peace. Israel out of the Middle East, no justice, no peace. You stood with us today, you saw the faces of the martyrs, you heard their names, you're rightfully upset, angry, sad, hurting, but we must take that anger, we must take that sadness and turn it, manifest it into a call to globalize the Antifada. Because as Palestinians continue to bravely confront ethnic cleansing and genocide, it's time for us to globalize the Intifada. This call is rooted in direct action and driven by the belief that all colonized and oppressed people have the right to take back their land, to realize self-determination, and to win liberation by any means necessary. And 
and we build upon the revolutionary spirit and inspiration of Palestinian resistance and the understanding that our liberation is either collective or non-existent. And that this must reflect the interconnectedness of our struggles in our neighborhoods and our homelands. And this is why we are organizing actions every week as we build towards September 17th, a peak day of action across New York City and beyond. I want you to remember this day, September 17th, we're going to be building up to a big action, understanding that it is on all of us to fight for Palestine, not just Palestinians, not just people who grew up in the struggle, and for us to learn from the fight for Palestine and take, the, take those lessons and globalize them everywhere. We've been giving out these stickers the whole rally, and we're still going to be giving them out, and we want to see them everywhere. This is a call. We want people walking by in the streets to see this and to search what the Intifada is, to learn about Palestinian uprising, to learn about resistance. These red and black stickers, take as many as you can put up, and we want to see them everywhere, all over the streets. By creating new points of leverage for our movement based on our interconnectedness. Because although the struggles arise from different places in the world, the forces that we are fighting against are all the same. They are all interconnected parts of the same oppressive system. We must organize in our communities to support Palestinian liberation and channel the spirit and example of the Palestinian Antifada to make it clear that our mutual liberation is interdependent. To those who participate in and profit from the oppression of people here in the U.S. and the oppression of people in Palestine and the oppression of people around the world, your days of comfort are coming to an end. In the coming weeks, the boroughs of the city will become a theater of operations where we can actualize the interconnectedness of our struggles with a diversity of strategies and tactics. Globalize the Intifada will be an ongoing strike at the heart of empire with Palestine as its compass. From Beirut to Gaza! Globalize the Intifada! From New York to Gaza! Globalize the Intifada! short du'a, inshallah. Really short du'a. This du'a is something small that we can do that will weigh on our good deeds on the day of Yom Qiyamah. So join me in this du'a. Say Ameen from wherever religion you're from, wherever country. Say Ameen and say it with your heart. <laughs> Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin fi al-awwaleen Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin fi al-akhirin Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina Muhammadin fi al-malai al-a'la ila yawm al-deen Allahumma inna nashhadu bi annaka anta Allah La ilaha illa ant الواحد الأحد الفرن الصمد الذي لم يرد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا أحد اللهم ارحم موتانا وموت المسلمين واشف مرضانا ومرضى المسلمين اللهم إنا نسألك باسمك الأعظم أن ترحم شهداء فلسطين اللهم ارحم شهداء فلسطين اللهم ارحم شهداء فلسطين ونقهم من الذنوب والخطايا كما ينقى الثوب الأبيض من الدنس اللهم ارحم شهداء فلسطين وادخلهم الجنة اللهم ادخلهم الجنة اللهم ادخلهم الجنة وصل اللهم على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين سيف
free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free, free Palestine. Free, free, free Palestine. Free, free Palestine. Free, free, free Palestine. Free, free, free Palestine. Free, free, free Palestine. Palestine will be free. From Palestine to Mexico. From Palestine to Mexico. 